hey, it's really important to me to uh, to say this. So I just, man, I got I'm coming up on. You know, it's going to be 10,000 subscribers subscribers before too long, which is absolutely ridiculous for me to even understand. So I do apologize, man. I, I really can only release videos almost on my days off. That's what I'm. That, today's my day off. I, I sometimes only get one day off, not two days off a week, and I got a lot of other stuff going on. So um, I do apologize if I can't remember remember your name. So please don't get upset because I have a lot of people that send me a lot of great stuff, and that's what this is that I'm about to show. And I just wanted to say thanks to the teammates. I had someone else that sent me the. The, the the article with the JJ the guy getting stuck in the JJ that I just made a video of um, I don't want to take credit for that a lot of great teammates sending me a lot of things so sometimes I say the name sometimes I don't and it has nothing to do with with picking favorites or anything like that it's just man I get a lot of stuff and I forget and I got to sit on things and I and I can't I can't make videos when I want to because it's just the time constraint. And uh, and I, I I really do I mean I look at all the messages and all the comments and I got to get back to everybody because I have I'm OCD and I have no I I, I got to do it so um, I know this is a long intro and I'm sorry that people are new to this channel like we'll just get to the video you're right I'm sorry it's just thanks to everybody and uh, I'm gonna finally get back to a lot of comments from two or three days ago my last video it's just I'm just I'm just trying to make time for everything so. Uh, is the universe a hologram? Physicists say it's possible. Yes, agreed. Not a new article, but just something I missed that someone passed on to me because there's no way what's going on is real. And here's a little vortex, as you can see. Um, and, and look, there, there's plenty of theories out there. So when, it's funny that people come on and make fun of average Joes like me who throw the stuff out on YouTube, but do you think they go to the Huffington Post and say, oh, you guys are so stupid? Because I would know if it was fake, and oh, what a stupid premise, the universe being a hologram, because I get all of my information from astronauts and scientists, and astronauts and scientists and NASA are all a bunch of black uh, magic witches and warlocks, and I've been to space, and I have left in a big huge rocket outside of Earth, and I would know. It, makes, it just makes me sick, so enough sarcasm. I'm going to read a little bit of this together because what's going on isn't real. Um, it's just not. There's no way. can't be. team of physicists have provided some of the clearest evidence yet that our, that our universe could just be one big projection. That's what I forgot. Uh, well, I'll pause it later and get that picture in just a second. 1997, theoretical physicist Juan Maldacena, if that's right, proposed that an uh, audacious model of the universe in which gravity arises from um, infinitesimally thin. Thanks to my wife, she helped me pronounce that out because I didn't know I had. I don't think I even said it right then. It was a couple days ago when I found that when someone sent it to me. So, uh, big word. <laughs> in which gravity arises from infinitesimally thin vibrating strings could be reinterpreted in terms of well-established physics. The mathematically intricate world of strings which exist in, look at that, yeah, nine, right, number of the cube and Saturn, three is Saturn two, but nine's the, the cube, it's the sum of all things, three, six, nine system that we're in, which exists in nine dimensions of space plus one of time, would be merely a hologram. The real action would play out in a simpler, flatter cosmos where there is no gravity. Um, all the scenes idea thrilled physicists because it offered a way to put the popular but still unproven theory of strings on solid footing and because it solved apparent inconsistencies between quantum physics and Einstein theories of gravity it provided physicists with a mathematical Rosetta Stone a this is great right come on guys duality as above so below that allowed them to translate back and forth between the two languages and solve problems in one model that seemed intrace or, I'm sorry, intractable and the other vice versa. But although the validity of Maldacena's ideas have pretty much been taken for granted ever since, a rigorous proof has been elusive. In two papers posted by, uh, I'm not going to try it, uh, that provide that if not an actual proof at least compelling evidence 
that this whole projection theory, it could be true. Now, hold on. I'm going to grab some. Okay, so talking about that projection, that's what's so... You see this picture? Let's, let's click on this. That, that's why this intrigues me so much. You see the cube? You see this? You see this light right here? It's like a projection. It looks like to me. Look, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. Perfect example. Obama came out and said that there wouldn't be any boots on the ground in Iraq. It's been a week. I, I don't even think it's even been a week since he said that. Guess what's going on the ground? Boots in Iraq. Okay? These guys lie. I mean, do, do I really need to get into the to, 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 into detail of how much NASA is... I mean, they're scrubbing images. They're censoring videos. They're part of the government. I don't care what anybody says. For crying out loud, when the government shut down last year, NASA was shut down. I mean, it's the same thing. The politician, Bill Clinton, came on and said, oh, if we knew there were aliens, we'd tell you. There isn't any kind of evidence. He lied in front of everybody's face, said his ding a -ling went nowhere near Monica Lewinsky. And my favorite thing, just look it up. He says, well, I don't even, I'm, like, I'm not even sure if it had anything to do with Monica Lewinsky, but he gave this testimony one time and said, well, it all depends on what your definition, your, it all depends on what your definition of is, is. Okay, that's what the man said. These people lie. And how is it turning out for everybody? Just let, just, just asking that. All this democratic, I'll vote, I'll vote. Would you've ever voted for universal communist health care? Would you've ever voted for open borders? I mean, <laughs> sorry, I get, I get sidetracked because I can't. I, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help. This research isn't, a lot of this stuff isn't mine. And, you know, I would never would have gotten onto the cube if it wasn't for, like, you know, um, McCleary and occult science and dreams within dreams. But it's just, it, it's just, I'm just trying. And it's crazy that I get attacked so much. And it, it's not that the trolls bother me. It, does, it doesn't matter. It's just, I can't believe we live in a world where people, I mean, they hang on to these words by these NASA guys and these, and these, scientists and all these politicians they're talking about global warming when we have a nuclear reactor leaking hundreds in their own words hundreds of tons of radioactivity into the ocean every day we have mass animal die-offs that no one they oh we can't explain it and they're talking about global warming what is more of a threat global warming or our nuclear reactor leaking hundreds of thousands of tons of radioactivity into the biggest food supply every day and people hang on to these words and they say well this stuff can't be because Harvard said it wouldn't or Bill Clinton said it, it isn't or Bill Gates said it isn't so it just it blows my mind anyway I just got on a complete rant here and I'm running out of time so here's the projection thing from, from mainstream media, which these guys are reporting this stuff to, and they come to me and yell at me, even though I'm just passing on information. Here's a weird projection. Who knows what that's supposed to mean? And then here, I've shown this before. Physicists say they may have evidence that the universe is a, comp is a computer simulation. And you got three guys, three for Saturn, holding three cubes. I mean, if this isn't the most incriminating suspect picture, I don't know what is. And this is a completely different study. These guys are saying this stuff. Uh, Bonn, University of Bonn in Germany. These guys aren't from, this isn't something from Germany. This is from some dude named Juan Maldacena. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, and that's, I hope, I hope everybody's, at least, I know I ramble a lot, man. And I hope people made it this far in the video. But th you guys, you guys got to listen to the, I mean, this to me, right? This stuff with uh, the, the keyhole opening or the, the portal opening and these locusts coming out, it doesn't even matter. Because I, I, I do get comments, I do get messages, people, you know, they get bummed out and they get depressed and they get scared. And I understand, but you guys have to understand, like, I'm just telling you where I come from. If there is some portal that opens up in the sky and these weird things come out of it, regardless. I mean, think about all the ghosts, all the, all the poltergeists, all the UFOs, 
all these weird videos and pictures and occurrences that people can't explain. Demonic possession happens all the time. There's no explanation for this stuff. There is be there's there's been video and, and 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 pictures of these UFOs that have gone on for hundreds of years that people can't explain. The weirder this stuff gets, I'm just saying tomorrow the sky opens up just like all the ancient uh, hieroglyphs and everything I've explained in artifacts. The weirder this stuff gets, the stronger I become because the less real this place has to be. That's how I look at it. The weirder this stuff becomes because whether anybody wants to admit it or not, that book of Revelation and that Bible is coming true and that book is a spiritual book. That's why it speaks to people differently. That's why you can have one person say a verse means one thing and another, mean, another person say it means completely different because it's a spiritual book and the things in that book are coming true and the more this stuff happens, the faker, the more artificial this universe becomes to me, which makes me stronger, which makes me think, man, I've, I'll, I'll, I get into a whole rant. I mean, it just, that's what makes me stronger, okay? That means to me that, that something else is going on and I'm okay. Whether, whether, regardless or not I'm here, it doesn't matter. That deep down that I'm okay and this isn't the end, okay? That's how I take all this stuff. So since I rambled a whole bunch on just these two articles that are old, I'm just trying to show that there are other people, other precious quote-unquote scientists and physicists that everybody bases their whole judgment on this whole reality on that are saying the same things as us crazy crackpot, crazy town, banana pants YouTubers are saying. Now I just want to show this real fast. This is a new thing. Um, it came out on... The, Maybe it's, it, look, I don't keep up with this stuff. I mean, this video has really taken off. Last time I looked at it, it was 9,000. So maybe this is a new picture. This is probably something from, like, 1994, but it's being claimed because I'll hear that, well, this picture came out in 1984. This is probably some old picture, some screenshot of Mars, and they're saying mysterious cube anomaly was found on Mars. I don't know what that thing is. I don't even care because I don't, think there's some rover on Mars. I don't even think there is a planet Mars. I think there may be an energy point known as Mars, but is it being a, a planet with this stuff on it, man? I don't know. So I just thought I'd pass this on because here's it's claiming to be from June 26th, but I'll have all sorts of people telling me this is some 44-year-old, or uh, I don't even know why I picked that number, but some old school picture that was taken from some NASA satellite back in 1984. It's not nothing new. So, is it new? I don't know. Find it weird. And don't forget that everybody's, because we got to trust these guys. Remember Buzz Aldrin, the guy who went to the moon. So he says, he says there is a monolith on Mars. And a monolith is, is it's a fancy pants word of doorway, which is the cube. It's what the square, because, oh gosh, you can't say that there's four sides to the cube because there's six sides to the cube. And everybody knows that the square on the Masonic compass, regardless of the Masonic compass or not, it's the square that has four sides, represents the cube, which is the doorway. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. What's this? Oh, yeah, I forgot what I had because I, I, I get, sometimes I get on these big rants. Because that's what happens when I only get two days to make a video. <laughs> two days a week to make a video. I hold all this stuff up, pent up, and then I let it all out in one big long video. Which I apologize because, man, 15 minutes is a long time. And I apologize for taking up everybody's time. We got this now coming out, which, yes, these guys have said it before. But it's funny because you have your Siri iApp saying that the gates of hell are going to open later this month. But then you have people saying that's a hoax. And, man, I don't know. I, I had somebody who had an iPhone try it. It didn't work. I'm just passing along the stuff I find. Okay, this came out the 1st of July. It's funny that, it, what is it, the 24th or the 27th? I can't remember which. And then last but not least, somebody sent this to me. Thanks to my teammates and subs because i got to end this real quick and run out of time. This is ridiculous. Thanks to Mary Greeley for passing, passing this on. Um, Disney to reopen an exclusive Club 33. Ridiculous. That's the number of Satan, Saturn 33, the Cube 369. There it is. 33 Royal Street. Are you kidding me? 
New Orleans Square, Green Door, Green is Saturn, and God of Agriculture. Thank you to my teammates and subs. We're running out of time. Appreciate everybody for watching. Thanks for all the support. Keep looking out. Thanks for all the help.